There are multiple ways to suction your child. There is a nasal aspirator or kisser, oral suction catheters, sterile catheters, and inline suction catheters. Turn on your suction machine and adjust pressures. Never exceed 150 when suctioning invasively. First, attach the aspirator to the suction line and turn on the suction. Always suction the trach first by quickly kissing the opening. Never hold the aspirator on the trach for more than three seconds. After suctioning the trach, suction each nostril, then oral cavity. To clean the aspirator and suction line, use the pink bullets of saline to clear the line of any excess secretions. Turn off the suction. To use the oral suction catheters, attach the catheter to the suction line and turn on the suction. Gently suction your child's mouth to remove secretions without going too deep. This can cause gagging and trauma to your child's oral cavity. Do not use the oral suction catheters to suction your child's nasal passages or tracheostomy. This requires a sterile procedure. To clean the line after oral suctioning, remove the catheter and throw it away. Clear the suction line with a pink saline bullet. Turn off the suction machine. Sterile suction kits are used to suction the trach. Be sure to check the catheter size matches the size listed on your child's trach information card. To perform sterile trach suctioning, first don your sterile gloves. Using your dominant hand, grab the suction catheter. This will be your clean hand. Using your non-dominant hand, grab the suction line and turn on the suction. This will be your dirty hand. Using your clean hand, insert the catheter into your child's trach to the number specified on your child's trach information card. With your dirty hand, continuously cover the suction port while withdrawing the catheter slowly. Do not keep the suction catheter in the airway for more than 5 seconds. To clean the line after sterile suctioning, remove the catheter and throw it away, then clear the suction line with the pink saline bullets. Turn off the suction. To perform inline suctioning, attach the suction tubing to the suction port on the catheter. Turn on the suction machine. Unlock the thumb valve by turning it so it can be depressed. Insert the catheter into your child's trach to the number specified on your child's trach information card. While slowly withdrawing the catheter, continuously press the thumb valve down to clear secretions. Be sure to secure the trach by holding on to the elbow adapter while withdrawing the catheter. Do not keep the suction catheter in the airway for more than 5 seconds. Always clean the inline catheter after suctioning. Insert the pink saline bullet into the saline port. Ensure the inline catheter is pulled all the way back, showing the black catheter tip in the window. Continuously press down the thumb valve while inserting saline to clear the line. Remove the suction tubing, lock the thumb valve by turning, and turn off the suction machine. If you have any questions, please contact your respiratory educators or nurse educator.